Welcome to this uh, video. One of you asked on my website uh, explainingmaps.com to help with this past paper question about um, yeah, the volume or the service area of prisms. Um, and technically this is not a prism by the way because as you can see it's half a cylinder and prisms can only have straight edges but it behaves like a prism so uh, let's just uh, ignore that. Um, before we start credit goes to Cambridge examinations because this is their question. We're just here uh, to help each other. So what's going on? It says the diagram shows a solid prism, yeah, so it's completely solid, of length 15 centimeters. The cross-section of the prism is a semicircle and the radius is 4 centimeters. And what do we have to do? We have to calculate the total surface area, so the area at all the surfaces of the entire prism. Now, I'll put a link here because uh, to a video where I explain this in more detail and to find the surface area of cylinders because you need to know that formula. And that formula is uh, 2 pi r times the height and that is for the curved surface area um, plus, because it's a solid prism, we also have the circles on the outside, so that is pi r squared, but we have two of them, so times two. Uh, so please check that video where I explain it in more detail. However, this is not a full cylinder, no, this is half a cylinder, so all of this I have to then divide by two. But at this stage I'm ignoring the area at the top here, this rectangle. You see that? So I have to plus that now, so this is uh, the surface area of half the cylinder plus and then the area of that rectangle which is um, yeah I was just going to say uh, already 8 times 15 yeah so please realize this is 8 yeah, the diameter the radius and the radius times 15 and then we can just uh, yeah put in uh, the numbers 2 times pi times the radius times the height 15 plus 2 times pi times 4 squared and all of that divided by 2, let's put some brackets around that plus um, 8 times 15 is 80, that's 120 okay, and now I'm going to grab my calculator I'm going to work that out, so um, 2 times pi times 4 times 15 plus 2 times pi times 16 equals, I'm just going to write down that's 152 pi over 2 plus 120, yeah, because I want to show as much working as I can, um, and if I work that out correctly, uh, I should do that properly then, 152 times pi equals, divided by 2 equals plus 120, that equals 358.76. I first always write down all my decimals and then, because it's a non-exact answer, I round correct to three significant figures. And the units are centimeters squared. Good, I hope that was useful, explainingmaps.com. Um, check out all my free resources. And please like and share this video if it was useful. I thank you very much, have a nice day, bye bye.